But so how were these bays informed? We see we see some huge fault systems here. <coughs> see here all the way. And also there's actually here one going, there's one there's one going uh, here and so they are responsible for the formation of this this basin here. We drove this morning here and here we you stayed at the, your campsite. So that's San Antonio Nequa. Then you drove up here and here is the thermal spring. Yeah. And in that area is the waterfall. Uh, also a very interesting feature is here this uh, brown spot that's called Valle Seco. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, just up hill here where it's also a quite big flat uh, sub basin with no superficial outlet. Almost like a closed space. I cannot. I'm. I'm not sure because I don't know if there's a sub, uh, a sub, so a sub surface drainage. But at least at the surface, you don't see a, a drain, which would which makes this uh, almost like a, a watershed within a watershed. <laughs> well, yesterday you got a little bit uh, about from Monty to talk to you about uh, the granite intrusions. Here you il here you really yeah. see one yeah. in the satellite oh, yeah. image. Yeah. Yeah. That jumps out. But you also see how heavily fractured yeah. these granites are. And see here, this is the the gorge. That's the El Barbon. So the only connections, the only connection between the, the headwaters yeah, of this watershed and say, and further down there, there is just here. Yeah. There's La Mission. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and here. <laughs> And this, that's the, the upper aquifer, so Ojos Negros, which also with a heavy gravel extraction and uh, uh, intense agriculture water use. Something which results, and that's here actually, in that part, there was the old capital of Baja California, Real de Castillo. It was just he it's here with the old gold mine. And that was 200 years ago the capital of the state. 1800s, yeah? 1800. Yeah. Yeah, 1800, yeah. And now to the hydrology, hydrogeology and hydrochemistry. Yeah, if you have a look, you see the, the stream bed. Where are we now on that? We are now just here. This, that white spot here. That's the yeah, terrace. Does, does, does three go up the map to the north? The highway? Yeah, it just goes up here. Oh, okay. uh, that's that's. Got it. That we see where the, you see the track. Yeah. That's the highway going up to Tecate. Uh, okay. That just goes here. Up. The yeah. Along the fracture and in. There is a very nice spring exactly located at the highway, at the road there. And it's a spring which always has water. Mm. Always. Is that the one we're going to Yeah. You, we're going to, before going then back that direction, we make a stop here. That because I think it's very interesting to see that along the, the roadside, the, the, the spring coming out. Another spring is... When you have a look at the other hillside, 
you see some a, a cleared brown area and there you can uh, well almost well that you can distinguish that there are some houses up there that's a, that, that's the stable of of uh, the famous houses for uh, horses of Domek the the white stallions but now they are don't belong anymore to Domek now they belong to Chetto, Chetto. <laughs> <laughs> and just at the lower part of these stables you see a green spot uh, okay. some trees and in that green spot that's a very uh, also a very productive and very big <coughs> spring coming out of the of the rocks there with very consistent chemical composition low TDS and constant uh, anion cation uh, concentration throughout the year that's just here Okay, now have a look on the left side of the valley. You go see along the, well you don't see the riverbed, but next, even next to, you, don't, you see at where the river, next to the riverbed, actually there are 10 white structures next to the river. At least from here, from my point, I see one, two, three of these structures. Yeah? And these structures are the main, is the main water supply of Ensenada. These are wow. ten very deep wells, 300 meters, between 200 and 300 meters deep. And they uh, are responsible for around 50% of the water of Ensenada comes from these 10 wells. Oh, wow. And where is that on the map? On the map it's here, here along that and if you have a closer look on when you drive back out of the valley uh, on your left side when you drive back to Ensenada direction to Ensenada, you see next to the road sometimes some uh, blue pipes. These blue pipes is the main water supply going to Ensenada. Yeah, just along the, the road. Tomas, do you know what percent of the water that comes out of those wells is from the alluvium and what percent is fractured production in the granitic rocks? At the moment, most is from the alluvium, yeah. and the only re at the moment the only recharge is that what we saw. That's that small uh, creek. That's it. That's the only recharge. Well, we have some diffusive recharge in the mountain ranges, but there at the moment there's not very much going on. The main recharge. For all that area is coming through that gorge with the with that uh, creek. So and the water quality. The what the water quality? It's it's a TDS below 1,000. It's a well, it's a fa fairly good here at that because we're close to recharge. So if we now go further away. Now further, now from this further north, no, not only further downstream, just when you're here at the, with the recharge, major recharge area where we have the, the wells, mm -hmm. just cross the valley, when you go to the wells, which are, which belong to Domek, there the water quality is much worse. There the TDS are above 1500. So yeah, uh, but don't lo but my boy. Okay, that's Gracias. now here we had the that's actually the headwater, let's say, for the for the aquifer. Yeah. Recharging this section. 